want to tell you a little bit more about what I have been doing with flight simming lately. Of course, we have got nothing to do all years. Pandemic. We're all sitting around being told to stay at home and do nothing. So I started looking again at flight simming and getting ready because I'm mostly excited about the VR release. I'm going to explain really quickly because the non VR, you're flying on a flat screen in front of you and you have a stick and pedals and whatever, but you're basically using a mouse to operate an airplane and you don't feel part of the experience. So I've been flying DCS, which stands for Digital Combat Simulation, which is really cool. You feel like you're in the airplane, you can look over the edge, like, you know, just like you're in an airplane, whereas when on the screen, you can't really see around the hood and you can't see where you're landing because you can't just lean your head out to the side of the aircraft. And you also don't have a very good feeling of like just looking over my shoulder here, looking over my shoulder there and see there's my runway 45 degrees behind me. That means I can turn base. I come up here when I have it 90 degrees, I can turn final and land. That's the mechanics of flying an aircraft. And when you can't just move your head freely, I look like an idiot moving my head now, but when you can't move your head freely and see it there, it's very hard to feel where it is and get that flow, right? So getting ready here, you can buy these sticks and throttles so that they look like Airbus or Boeing, fancy sticks. I decided not to do any of that. I'm going with the simple Thrustmaster throttle, but with a bunch of switches because there is a bunch of buttons in the cockpit and I want to be able to reach them using my hand rather than having to find the button in the virtual world. So I can memorize where they are here on the throttle and I can memorize where they are on the stick and there's additional buttons on the side here. So like over here on the side, there's a twister and I use that for trim because trim is something you access all the time when you change your pro flight profile. Now, down in front here, I have a pair of sliding pedals, fairly inexpensive, about 50, 60 bucks. And they plug into the throttle and the throttle then plugs into my laptop. Now I started out having a small table here, a small table here and the pedals down here. It doesn't work really well because as you fly, your stuff starts moving around. I decided I think I'm going to need a chair to mount all this on. And as I was Googling, you know, YouTubing, I realized that Next Level Racing had a folding, it's like a collapsible chair that you can fold up and carry with you that is meant to install a gear shifter, a steering wheel. So it comes with a thing that swings over here that will hold your steering wheel. I have never actually driven a car in a simulator because I have a car. so. But some people race in these. Now, I modified it a little bit. I did not put the steering wheel mount on, but you could put it on and put a yoke here if you're flying Airbus. And over here on each side, they have a metal plate with pre-drilled holes. However, what I did was I put literally Velcro on the bottom. So there, so this is a really wide chair. Somebody twice my size could easily fit in here. This goes down here and there's a pin that locks it in place, but put it down. You can put the stick here, or if you want it narrower, you could turn it in and put the stick there. I'm just gonna turn it back out for now. Here, there's a stick over the same here. Now it comes with only one mount. So the first thing I did was naturally print a 3D printed mount. And if any of you guys are interested in this chair, let me know. I have the STL and I can send you that. Now, to put it over here, again, I just did the Velcro thing. Stick it on right there, stick it on down there. I actually usually bring it in a little bit more, so I would have to turn it around, do it like this, and it gets a little closer to me when I'm flying. I didn't put a pin in because I wanted to show this to you, but the pin goes in this hole right here and then it doesn't slide around like it does right now. There, you could also put it forward or backwards because this is offset. So that's how I did this. You can see how this folds up and there's a huge noggle right here. So you literally just undo this and now you can adjust the angle. 
you put it back down and it's good to go. There's nothing more to it than that. And that's what's beautiful about it. So Next Level Racing created this chair out of one inch pipes. Maybe it's an inch and a quarter even. These are beefy pipes. It's not like your average $20 beach chair. And especially these big knuckles are really what sets it apart because you can get all kinds of accurate positions. Again, Next Level Racing is called Next Level Racing Lite. Check it out if you're interested in a chair. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about that also. Without making it a review of a chair, I'm gonna say the light chair is a bit more clumsy than it appears, but it does the trick. You're able to adjust it. You're able to adjust all your hardware and your sticks so they stay in place and they, so you have a fixed environment for your simulation experience, all right? So it has, it's probably worth a couple of hundred dollars for this, it's really wide. Everybody can fit in this chair. Now, what I wanted to talk about is flying goggles. Because when you fly the screen, your airplane is on the screen. With goggles, when you look here, your controls here is right here. And you can look around and see it. And I have a couple of different goggles. The nicer goggle here is the index from Steam from Valve Index and it's a fairly expensive one and the downside is it requires a lighthouse. The lighthouse, you need two of them, they help the goggle find out where it is in reality. When you put it on you have to define the area you're going to play in. So that is a bit cumbersome and it's really not necessary for flight simulation. Now, one of the upsides, I should hurry and say, the noggle here, the controller for the index, senses your fingers. So as you move your fingers, it will know where your fingers are. And that helps you if you're gonna do little buttons in a flight simulator or in other games, like if you're playing Alex. But that's a different story. This is gonna be a much better deal if you're just looking to play flight simulator because the Quest has a bunch of standalone, it can work by itself, it's using cameras built in to look out, and those cameras positions the headset. So if you're doing this, it comes up and it will ask you, is this a seated area? And you just click yes in the headset using your mouse, and it will now, you're ready to go. You have to connect it with a USB-C cable to your laptop, and your laptop have to play the Microsoft FS 2020. So this is not powerful enough to play that game by itself. But if you're into flight sim, of course you already have a laptop or a desktop that can play FS 2020 VR, which is the one I'm excited about. So this is basically the way to go. You're looking at about $300 here. And you of course need your laptop. You have about $100, $150 in the stick, same in the throttle and about same in the pedals. Plus the chair, so it's not inexpensive but that pretty much with this set of goggles gives you that immersive feeling of flying now I know you're wondering why the steps and why I did bent this arm down so that I could get the pedals up higher that's because most of my flying hours are in gliders gliders are essentially flying recliners so that is this is how you fly a glider your feet is almost straightforward and actually you'll lean much more back but this works good for sitting at home gliders do not have a throttle they have a stick and I kind of wanted a center stick but that's okay because it's easier to put it here I'm thinking about printing a clamp to put it right in the middle but not necessary so here's basically you can do a rudder follow with the aileron to stay nice and balanced and then you're gonna do a counter aileron so that you don't keep rotating or rolling as you're coming around. That's because the one wing goes faster than the other one, but you'll learn that in practical flying. Well guys, that's it for today. This is what I'm gonna be doing next week when on the 23rd FS 2020 VR comes out. And as I said, if you're looking for this plate, shoot me an email because I have the STL for that. You're more than welcome to it. Just don't sell it on eBay. I always feel insulted when stuff I make comes up and gets sold on eBay to people. But hey, 
you're welcome to it. You know where to find me. And that's it. That's going to be my simulated flight set up for over the holidays here. I'm not wearing a mask because I'm alone in the house here at the moment. As you can tell, I should be pretty safe. <laughs> Hope you guys stay safe too. And I'm looking forward to get some more videos out about some subjects we're going to be working on next year. So stay safe, have some fun. If you're into flight simulation or Alix, put a note down in the comments and keep staying in touch. Have a great holiday guys and stay safe.